Coming up on Underground Sound, I'm going to be talking with the two co-owners of Baltimore House, as well as the lead singer of local Hamilton band, Daydrunk. So I'm hanging out inside the Baltimore House tonight. Now I'm with the two co-owners here. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves? I'm Grant Weinstein. I'm Jimmy Scambaris. All right, so how did you guys get involved with the Baltimore House? We opened it almost three years ago, and um, it was originally just an idea that I had had for many years before that. It was always sort of just a dream. I pitched it to Jimmy, and um, he was about the dream as well. He enjoyed the dream, and uh, I said, well, let's just do it. And we were able to find this place for, for a great deal because uh, our, our parents uh, understood that this was something that we wanted to do and that maybe a traditional career wasn't the best thing for us and they, they sort of stood behind us. All right, so what makes the Baltimore House stand out compared to other Hamilton homes? Jimmy and I are here basically every night, almost every night, but otherwise people know that they can come in and we're not hidden away in the office or anything. We're we're watching the bands, and we're at the bar, and we're talking to people, we're at the front door. People have personal, feel like they have these personal relationships, I think, when they come into the venue, and they're able to just talk to us about anything, really, about the night, about the shows, about music, about drinks. If you could describe, like, the, the feel of the Baltimore House, what would that be? Yeah. I feel like when you come here, it automatically takes you down a notch, no matter who you are. Saying everybody here is really friendly and welcoming, and it just kind of like bleeds through to everyone. And even for for shows, I mean, most of the shows we do are are, are five dollars, so it's very cheap. It's not a big expense to go out. We used to have no stage at all. Uh, now we have a small stage, so even when you're seeing a band, you're, you're right up close. It's intimate, and yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, and I, I think, and I hope that that is the experience that people take away from the venue. Is there a specific night of the week that? It's, um any, any old citizen can come in here and showcase their, their uh, talent? Yeah, uh, we have open mic every, every Wednesday, and um, that's actually one of our most popular nights, so it's very easy to just send us an email uh, at... The email is om at baltimorehouse.ca. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and just tell us uh, when you want to play, what you play, and, uh, and then away you go. We do uh, tri a trivia night on Mondays, we do the open mic on Wednesdays. We do live music on Thursday and Fridays. We do a, a sort of electronic music club night on Saturday, and every other Sunday we do an all vinyl uh, club night as well. So there's always something going on here, and uh, everyone is welcome to come be part of them. Fantastic, thank you very much guys. Much appreciated. Coming up next, I'll be speaking with the front man of local Hamilton band, Daydrum. So I'm inside Baltimore House with Jordan Haleen, the lead singer of Day Drunk. So Jordan, where did the name Day Drunk come from? The idea of Day Drunk is, is spending time while the sun is out, having a, a, a beer or just spending time with friends, enjoying the day, enjoying good company. I like that. All right, so how many members are in the band and what do they do? Traditionally, we're three-piece. So there's myself, I play uh, guitar and I sing and play harmonica among other things at times. Uh, and then um, Marty Vandenberg, uh, who plays the drums, mm -hmm. and uh, Red Amin, who plays bass. Tonight, we're gonna have a clarinet player. Very cool. In the past, we've had a lead guitar player, et cetera. Very nice. Okay, um, so what is it about the Baltimore House that you like so much? You, you said that you play here quite frequently. Why is that? We play here quite frequently because it's a very warm and welcoming space. Um, very supportive. The venue itself is uh, its a great venue in terms of sound and, and the, the people who work here do a, a good job of, of spreading the word and actually really supporting local musicians. Mm -hmm. So it's one thing to find a good venue but it's another thing to find a venue that, that not only provides great sound system but also uh, really goes out of their way to make sure that they're doing the best for you. So who are some of your musical influences? Um, some of our, I guess, key musical influences uh, include System of a Down, Three Doors Down, that kind of 90s alt rock. Yep. Uh, growing up listening to that. But um, another uh, big influence, uh, or influence for us has been uh, Colton Homewood. Okay. Um, a phenomenal local musician. 
I think broadly fall under the category of like 90s alt rock. Okay. Um, we've been compared to Mumford and Sons, but I would say that it's like Mumford and Sons without the folk more rock. I it's guess. funny that that you say you've been compared to Mumford and Sons, but your influences are System of a Doubt. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay. If uh, if people wanted to hear your music, maybe catch a show or yeah, just listen to it. Where could they where could they hear? Well, we have a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. um, we have a CBC page. We have uh, YouTube, uh, Twitter. Um, but at the end of the day, if you just Google Day Drunk Band, you'll find us. Fantastic. Quickly, yeah. All right, thanks a lot, Jordan. Appreciate it. Nice. It's been a fun night here at Baltimore House. I highly suggest if you want to check out some local bands that you come down to 43 King William. I know I've had a great time, just a good place to hang out. We'll see you next time on Underground Sound. Yeah.